Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, on the table is something just very cool. This is the Terrain 365 Invictus, a Prometheus Design Works design in Teravantium steel. It's got ceramic bearings, all titanium. You have seen something very much like this on my channel before in this. So this is the Protec version of the Invictus. Now Prometheus Design Works uh, sold the design to a couple of different makers, uh, one in manual and one in automatic. Now this was a gift from Women Carry Knives and I have fallen completely in love with the design. But I live in California. And living in California means carrying an auto this big is problematic. I have no interest in getting rid of this knife. I absolutely love it. I will keep it forever, not just because it was a gift, but because I love the design. And when I go places where I can comfortably carry an auto like this, I absolutely will. However, recently at Blade Show West, I came across the Terrain 365 table and they had this. They also had a G10 show side scale version and a full carbon fiber, well, show side scale version. But this one is just perfect. The Prometheus Design Works design is one of those things where simplicity equals perfection. The blade itself is very slicey. It's pokey where you need it. it comes down to a very nice edge. The handle is completely neutral, except for this little choil right here, which lends itself to a very comfortable grip, but you can come forward carefully up here to the front of the blade if you need to. If you're doing draw cuts, you've got plenty of belly right there to work with. You can grab the handle really in any position, anywhere, and it's just comfortable. The milling gives you lots of grip without it being overt. It has a full length backspacer with just a little bit of texturing right here, just a little bit of jimping. It's got a lanyard spot if you're into that sort of thing. These knives are very similar, but not quite the same. Oh my goodness, there's dirt on the blade. How dare I? Well, it turns out I've been using it. Not quite the same. I mean, they're very, very similar. The edge on the Protec and the edge on the Teravantium blade here. Now, what is Teravantium? Teravantium is its a little bit like Vanex Super Clean. This is an entirely rust-proof, stain-proof steel. I really like that. Uh, recently, I, at the same show, I picked up the Quiet Carry Drift for the same reason that this really appealed to me. Uh, this is Vanex Super Clean. The liners on this are LC200N, which is the same thing. They make the blade on the Spidey Chef out of. This has got a full review coming because this is a fantastic pocket knife. But I just really, now that winter is here, or at least what we call winter here in California, I'm really into knives that I know that I can just get wet and carry in sweaty pockets and all sorts of stuff and never have to worry about the blade. This is one of those. So let's go ahead and put away its Protec brother here and take a look at what you get. Well, as I mentioned, you get a Teravantium blade, which is their specially designed blade steel for Terrain 365. Uh, everything I've seen online and everything I can find tells me that it holds an edge exceptionally well. And the time I've had it, which is going on a couple of weeks now, I haven't seen anything to prove them wrong. The thumb studs have got glow material in them. Let's see if I you can, I can't really make it glow for you, but which is just really cool. They've got these little inserts. And the action, oh, the action on this thing is just out of this world. So you get just a hair over three inches of cutting on three and a half inches of that Teravantium steel. The grip area is twofold. From behind this spot, you get one, two, three, and three quarter to this end and four and an eighth all the way to the very end. But from this choil, you get one, two, three, four, 
five and a sixteenth. Lots and lots of room on this handle. It is very comfortable to work with and use. There's some jimping on the back of the blade as well. Now this is really, really fine jimping. It's very, 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 very sharp. I mean, it's not sharp to the thumb, but I mean, it's really, really finely done. It's like the tail end here. The pocket clip on this is an absolute joy. It is screwed in from the backside, so there is no visible screw. It is plenty deep carry. It is simple and yet elegant. It is nice and tall, even for the thickest of jeans. Now, these are about $395 if you can get your hands on one. Uh, it looks like they're all sold out right now on the website, which tends to happen. They do these in runs. Uh, again, when I saw this thing at the show, this was my big knife, my big purchase at Blade Show West. And I knew, it's funny, I saw these on the first day and I said, no, no, you got to look around first. You got to see what else is out there. And I kept coming back. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. You can, for about $300, get yourself the Protec version. And if you live in a state where you can carry one of these, I recommend this. Not over this, of course, but just get one of these. Because, again, this is just a really excellent working tool done really, really well. I love this Protec. <laughs> I really do. Anyway, the overall knife from end to end is eight inches and a eighth. The closed profile on this thing is amazing, right? We're coming in at just a hair, inch and an eighth here at the thickest spot. Because um, it's thumb stud deployed and they're very smooth, uh, there's really nothing to bang into stuff in your pocket. And this thing just drops into the pocket and disappears. Now, I do want to show you, if you can get that to show up. You see this little notch right here? This notch runs the length of the backspacer, which means when this blade is closed, it's actually nestled into the backspacer all along the back of the knife. The fit, finish, and milling on this thing are just perfect. Now, I did reach out to Terrain365 to ask them who makes this for them. And they told me very politely that they weren't going to tell me. <laughs> that they weren't going to tell me. And I don't blame them. Industry secrets are industry secrets. It's got some jimping on the inside of the lock bar. And as you can see, it's a frame lock. Uh, it is very milled. The inside of this knife has got milling on both sides to do something about the weight, which is nicely done. There is no steel lock bar insert. And so on the discussion boards out there on the interwebs, you can find discussion about lock stick. Mine has none at all. Uh, Women Carry Knives got the small version, and hers, while it doesn't have lock stick, it is a very sensitive lock bar. So if you're pressing on the lock bar, you cannot deploy the knife. And her knife is small enough that it's harder to avoid the lock bar. This is big. It's easy. Flips out every time. Um, so it's not perfect. I just wanted to point that out. Oh my goodness, I have a scratch on my knife already. That's it. Time to get rid of it. Oh, what a bummer. <laughs> you guys see that? That little mark, right? No? It's not going to show up on camera. There it is. Well, it's a pocket tool now. It's the way it goes. It's the thing about these full tie knives, especially ones that are stonewashed out like this. Man, you put this in your pocket with a set of keys and you know snail trails in no time. And you know what? I'm okay with that. It's a working tool. Let's use it. I mean, I've had this thing in my pocket a ton since I got it. It doesn't surprise me. Blade, on the other hand, is still perfect. I love this shape. I know I've said that a couple of times, but I'm going to keep saying it because it keeps being true. This is a superb pocket knife. Now, again, at $400, it damn well better be. I mean, you can get a lot of knife for a lot less money, but you can't get one of these. So is it a collector's piece? Yeah, in the sense that it's special in my collection because I won't get another one. I won't be able to find one. Let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. You've already seen it against its Protec brother. It is exactly the same. Here it is against the uh, full-size Presidio 2. And as you can see, the Presidio 2 is bigger. Here it is against our friend the bug out. And as you can see, the bug out is just a little smaller, but it's a good right in the middle size knife. 
it is really a joy to carry. What else can we share it up against here? What's interesting on the table? Uh, here's another Blade Show purchase that you guys will be seeing more of down the road. Here it is against the Dam Designs Banshee. God, this is a great knife. Now, these knives are almost identical in length, especially if you take into account the pocket clip. You get a little more cutting on the Banshee. This is 14C. There's a full review of this coming down the road a ways. I knew it's, you know, the funniest thing about this is I knew the minute, I did want to point out that whereas the Protec is flat slab sided, right, because it's aluminum, the full build from the Terrain 365 folks is just rounded and milled. Everything is knocked down. While this is a superb carry and use knife, this is more comfortable. And you can definitely, I mean, without question, see where the additional 90 bucks comes from, $95. You really can. I mean, the, the amount of work that went into this knife is astonishing. These are great. <laughs> These make me silly happy. Let's weigh it. As I said, there's a bunch of milling on the inside, so let's see what it weighs out at. 4.6 ounces for a three and a half inch blade, full tie build. Eh, it's not ultra light. It's not super heavy either. Let's see how much teravantium they've given us. Four millimeters, yeah, you know, my calipers suck, but we're going to say four millimeters of that teravantium steel. What did the Protec give us? You get three millimeter stock on the Protec, which may be why the edge feels just a little more, a little finer. Same amount of drop. I actually get a little bit more flat on the uh, on the Protec. So I'm going to guess at the end that these things share just about the same edge. What a marvelous design. Prometheus Design Works has made a knife. I think if they could get these into the hands of more people, I think that these would achieve that sort of strider hinderer. I really do. I really do. Because it's just that good. So anyway, that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. This has been the Terrain 365 Invictus, a Prometheus Design Works design in a very unique and cool steel. I hope you've enjoyed this look at it. I know I have enjoyed having it, and I will continue to enjoy having it. Thank you so much for your time today. If you have any questions about this, and I'll post a link to the Terrain 365 website down in the description. You can check it out there. If you have any questions about this or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. We'll see you next time.